Hello there, everybody. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Today, we are going to look at another offering from Nutrient Survival. This is their Triple Cheese Mac. This is one, uh, you know, if it wouldn't have been for that, uh, for the, the scramble, I would have went instantly for the mac and cheese because like a good breakfast usually is pretty indicative of a, of a pretty good overall experience. But mac's another one that you can really mess up. Just saying it. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I do like Nutrient Survival. I like their ideas and everything. Um, and again, we'll see how this all turns out. So creamy pasta loaded with a trio of sharp cheddar, white cheddar, and Parmesan cheese with a hint of thyme and basil. Um, Parmesan is an interesting cheese for rations because it is so naturally salty and sharp in flavor most of the time. I mean, you can get some pretty mild Parmesan too, I guess. Sometimes it overpowers things, and I'm trying to think. There was an Alpine Air ration that was, um, that was really, really heavy on the Parmesan. And I can't remember what it is, I apologize, but it was one of those deals where it was like, it was way too much, just way too much. It overpowered everything. So here are some of the nutritional facts. 380 calories in that bad boy, so that's pretty good. It's pretty good for Mac. And then let me get under this little flap here and we'll do the ingredients list. Now, the ingredients list does look a little bit bigger than what sometimes we're used to. But again, remember that Nutrient Survival is in the business of packing a ton of extra nutrients into their meals. This is what they do. So a lot of this extra stuff is a bunch of different vitamins and minerals that they feel that you, uh, you should need. Now our preparation instructions, we got pour contents into a bowl, third a cup of boiling water, stir, cover, let stand eight, 10 minutes, stir and enjoy again. So one thing I'm a little bit um, meh on is the size of these bags. I can't make this meal in this bag, it's, it's too small. Um, which means if I take these out on trail, I can't make it in the bag, so I have to dirty a pot. I have to dirty my pot. Um, now I'm not saying that's the end of the world. It's it's fine, but you are using extra water to clean up that pot, or you know you're bringing in something like paper towels or or whatever. You're you're bringing in something to clean that up. That's why I like preparing my meals in bags, even if it's something homemade. I like it to be in a bag so I can just eat it in the bag and not really dirty anything. I just I pop the bag in my little trash sack I keep in my in my uh, pack you know again leave no trace um, so this is fine it's a nice compact small little bag but I, if it was me I would just prefer that they put them in bigger bags so that I could actually make it in the bag that's just me but teach their own it's, uh, Okay, yeah, definitely can smell that cheese. There's a lot of powder in there. Not a huge size, <clears throat> not a huge ration size, but I'm sure we'll, we'll get that to, you know, bring up in size a little bit there as we, as we roll. I'm excited. This does have the little spiral noodles that we see in a ton of rations. It's like, listen, I like spiral noodles as much as the next person. But I honestly don't see a ton of like macaroni noodles in a lot of like freeze dried mac and cheese. It's always these spiral noodles. It's like everybody in the ration community got together and said, hey guys, so uh, we have to normalize things across, you know, across the border here. You know, we're using macaroni and chili mac, but you know, we can't use... Uh, uh, we can't use it in mac and cheese. We gotta use something different. Hey, let's use a spiral. Okay, a spiral sounds great. Let's everybody do spiral noodles. I don't understand how that came about. <laughs> it's, it's really stupid, but I, I laugh about it sometimes. So again, disclaimer as always, yes, go buy the instructions on the package. What did it say, a third a cup of water? Yeah, go buy that, okay? Um, <clears throat> 
especially if this is like your first time doing a ration, okay? The instructions are there for a reason. However, I've been doing this a long time and I like my things a certain way and I'm cantankerous and you know, I'll probably be a very difficult old man when I am old. Hopefully that's, well, anyway. <laughs> but the way I generally do things is one, with things like pasta, rice, beans, those, well, in this case, the noodles are going to leach a ton of that water. They're going to expand. And I don't want a big blob of mac and cheese. So the way I tend to do things is make it just a little bit soupier than what I would typically want. And I will also tell you this, I am one of those people who likes a little bit runnier mac and cheese. Pause for effect. But that's me. Um, and I also will say this, eight to 10 minutes, I'm checking this bad boy at five to make sure that things are tightening up the way they should or if I need to add a little bit more water. So in this case, this is about how I would do it. You know, there's a little wiggle in there. It's a, but honestly, this is pretty good. That's pretty good. It'll tighten up, and if I need to add more water, I will, and I generally tell you if I do. So we're just gonna pop a, pop a plate over that, let that heat up a little bit, let everything come together, and then uh, we'll try it out. So our mac and cheese should have had enough time to tighten up, and yeah, it looks pretty good, actually. That's a, yeah, that's about the consistency that I would normally like. There's, you know, there's a little bit of liquid down here. So yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and get a big old, big old spoonful and see if uh, Nutrient does mac and cheese well. Hmm. Well, one, doesn't look like uh, the noodles fully um, some of the noodles didn't fully uh, soften there's a little bit of crunchiness there it's not that bad though and that's on me that's not a nutrient um Taste. You know, as much as I was thinking about the sharpness, the sharpness of the um, cheeses, it's not all that sharp. This is one that I almost feel like I need salt. <laughs> it's a little bland, if I'm just being honest. It's a little bland. I mean, there's a... There's a cheesiness there. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to like smack it or anything. There's definitely a cheesiness there, but it's like, I'm almost wanting more. You know, I, I want, I want more cheesiness. And I also want more flavor, so I'm just gonna add a little hot sauce to this. Um, I'm just picking up the crystal. <laughs> Doing some of our, oh geez, I forgot. That's a, that's a quick pouring bottle top. I think Crystal will uh, will give a little bit of taste without <clears throat> doing a ton of spiciness, but yeah, it just it's it's just a wee bit bland. And I'll tell you what, the interesting thing is, so for the noodles not being done, they are like breaking apart. Anyway, let's try it with the with the uh, hot sauce. That's a little better. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little underwhelmed. It's, it's, it kind of tastes, you know, 
It just needs more cheese. Or a sharper flavor in there. Yeah, sharper flavor. It's okay though. Um, and you do have the benefit of having all the extra added, you know, nutrients that they put in there. But yeah, as far as the mac and cheese, I'm a, I'm just a tad disappointed in that. It's okay. So anyway, that was nutrient survival. Uh, triple ch ch triple cheese mac. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any thoughts on future videos or for future videos, I, you know, maybe some of your psychics, I don't know, but for, for future videos, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, if you'd like to send anything in to be reviewed, I have a PO box in the description. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Have a good one. See ya.